even though freedom of speech is said to be in practice in India and India is called a free country where anyone can express his or her opinions freely this whole concept puts us in jeopardy in certain situations some individuals or organization take this right for granted and in the name of freedom of speech or expression they exploit it in ways which are morally incorrect and in turn do irrevocable damage to the to an individual or society one type of this would be classified as hate speech examples of this is littered throughout social media like facebook and instagram some kind of free speech or we could say hate speech is very male chauvinistic and misogynistic in nature it is the cancer for society on the other hand are cases such as the killing of journalists like gauri lankesh by the right wing extremist group because she spoke a lot against hindu extremism in the right wing politics in cases such as these the right to freedom of speech expression doesn't seem to work just because someone said something and we are enraged by it doesn't give us the right to kill or harm other person so the question remains what really is freedom of speech or expression i think as long as there is religion bias and patriarchy in india cases such as these will continue to arise and whoever speaks against the powerful will always be silenced in this age of social media where everyone has access to expressing his or her opinions freely they sometimes take this for granted and talk about things which are half baked or without complete knowledge and most of the times with wrong information just for the sensationalism which would feed them with more followers and popularity so as an individual we have to be very aware of what we hear see and say we should try to make ourselves as educated as we can that we do not fall into this trap and get brainwashed by these political parties news channels people who are extremist of any kind so called watch dogs of religion etc at the same time freedom of speech expression can do wonders in educating the society through books movies print media if done effectively and with pure intentions of making people aware about an issue or belief films which reflect on a society can particularly be very effective because it is under the guise of entertainment interwoven in which is its true nature of themes and ideologies that deal with the issue plaguing a society such as caste system patriarchy male female chauvinism old outdated traditions etc so if freedom of speech expression is used with the intent of expressing solely and not with the intent to carry out selfish evil motives which will harm an individual in any way or to be detrimental to the society in any way then it is fine when the intent to express gets corrupted then that is where the whole idea and belief of freedom of speech expression crumbles to its knees